Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to get into a topic around migrating from Evernote into Obsidian. This is going to evolve around a couple of different men mentalities. You might be one of the people that want to completely get out of Evernote, move all of your data out of Evernote and then delete that particular account so that everything is in Obsidian and you have total control over that data. Now, there, that may be you as a person where maybe you're thinking from a security standpoint or Evernote having access to your data, it's a, uh, a no-go for you at this point. Now, if you don't really care about the your information being in Evernote, I have another idea or way that you can get to your information in Evernote, but from Obsidian. So if this is of interest to you, go ahead and stick around. I'm going to get into these two different methodologies on how you can leverage Evernote and either migrate all of your data, your information from Evernote into Obsidian or still leverage your information in Evernote, letting it stay in place. But before we get into the video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and it helps the channel out and also helps these videos get out to other individuals looking for content like this. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So first I wanna start off for those on a Mac. One thing with the Mac version of Evernote is that it is really limited. So if you're on a Mac, this is it may be tough if you don't have access to a Windows system to follow through with some of the, the things that I'm going to talk about here or ways of implementing the solutions that I'm talking about. You can still somewhat do it, but um, it's, it's really going to be hard to, to get your data out of Evernote and into your Obsidian vault in a simple way. So one of the limitations here with the Mac version of Evernote is that one, you can only select a maximum of 50 notes at a time here. So it says you cannot select more than 50 notes at a time. So you do get an export feature here, but because you can only do 50 at a time, I think this is really limited. And if you have a lot of notes in your Evernote environment, I have, uh, you know, 2,900 here. I think selecting 50, then trying to export 50 more exporting, that's going to really take a long time and it's not going to be an efficient way to get your information from Evernote. So this is one of the reasons why if you can get your hands on a Windows laptop, some kind of Windows OS, and use the Windows version of Evernote, you'll see that you'll get way more capabilities. And the process of exporting your data is going to be a lot easier. So let's say that they increase the limit on the, you know, the, the number of notes that you can select, or if maybe you don't have that many notes in Evernote that you want to move over and you're considering taking on the task of doing them 50 at a time. If you go in here, I have these selected. I'm going to click these dots for more actions. You can go to the export feature here. And if I click on export, you'll see here that it by default, it's going to save as this E N E X format. So this is an Evernote um, proprietary format here that it's gonna save this information in. So you can open this up in another Evernote, use an Evernote on another computer um, at a later time. This is more of a way to do a backup, not really a way to export your content in its raw form so that you can migrate to another system. So this is another drawback to been using the Mac version of Evernote. And it's also why I'm considering or recommending that you have a Windows uh, laptop or Windows box. User friends log in to their Windows in order to do this if you have to. But if you're going to go through this process, being on a Windows PC is going to be the way to go if you have a lot of notes that you need to get out of 
Evernote. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition this video over to Windows and we'll see the two methods of how you can bulk download all of your content. And the first method I'm going to show there is how you can bulk load it to HTML and then convert the HTML into Markdown. And then there's going to be a second option, which is going to be very easy and simple way to leave your notes in Evernote, but still have access via the, the your Obsidian Vault. So with that said, let's go ahead and transition over to Windows. Okay, so now we're in Windows and we have Evernote open. And what we want to do here is go ahead and select all of the notes, just did a control A and you can see in Windows it selects every note where when you're on the Mac, it only selects 50 at a time. Then we go into file, export, and we'll get the different options that you can do on Windows for exporting your notes. Now we wanna choose to export as multiple web pages here. I found that to be more um, efficient here. Now, if you click options here, you're able to select or deselect any of the attributes that you want to carry over as well. And then we'll go ahead and click export. We'll go to the directory where we want to export the files and folders, and then it will go through the export process. Depending on the number of notes that you're trying to export from your, your Evernote uh, environment, this could take a while. So we're gonna go ahead and speed through this particular process so that we can continue on. Okay, so now that the export is done and succeeded, we can go ahead and close here. And if we go browse to the folder, so we're in the folder structure for the the export here and we can see the html files and the folders that were exported you will have a name for each uh, html file and any content will be put in there along with any metadata uh, for the particular note during the export now there's only going to be a folder associated with the html file if there was uh, an image or an attachment for that particular note. So if there was no attachment or image, then you will not have a folder. Okay, so now I want to find, I created a, a bat file, a, a little script here that'll convert the HTML files to MD uh, markdown files using Pandoc. So let, if we open that up, we'll do an edit here. And we can see here from the code that it will go through the entire folder, look for everything with an HTML extension, and then it will kind of loop through and convert those HTML uh, files to a markdown file using Pandoc. And when we run the script, we can see it going through each of the files here, and it will create the text files, um, the markdown files as we mentioned. Now the mark, markdown files here are pretty raw from the export and the Pandoc conversion doesn't take uh, much out of here. It does convert the links and things, but you will get a raw format within the markdown file that has been converted to um, or converted from Pandoc from HTML. So an alternative to exporting all of the documentation out of Evernote into files and then putting them in your Obsidian vault and being able to kind of search through them that way. What you could do is leave everything in Evernote and create a table of content file, which will act somewhat like a, an MOC file or a map of content. So let's see how we would walk through the steps of, of creating that. Okay, so we're back in Evernote and what we want to do here is go ahead and select all of the notes that you want to have in your table of content file. And in this case, we're going to select every file. Okay, so now that we've selected all of the files, what we can do is create a table of content note 
and if we click on the the button there it will go ahead and create a specific note that has links internal links to all of the notes that are that you've you've selected to be in this table of content and as we can see here we can browse through and it has all 2,900 or so uh, notes that we've selected. And remember that these are internal links and all we have to do from here is copy paste this particular document or everything in this document um, and into a note that's in Obsidian. And the links will carry over the internal links and also the name. Okay, so I'm back on the Mac now and in the Mac, I, what I've done here is I'm uh, I have the latest version of Obsidian on my Mac, which is one of the reasons why I switched back over to Mac. And I've copied over the, the Evernote export, uh, put this in my Dropbox so it syncs into this particular vault. And what we can see here are a couple files and a couple folders that have related attachments. So as I mentioned before, when you do that export that I showed on Windows, it will export all of your notes and any relevant uh, attachments and images that you might have in that note. And it will put those attachments and images in their own folder that has the same name as the file. And we can pretty much see that here where I have these images that are related to this file. And if we go to the file here, we can see that this is the the information that came over in the in the note itself. And when it does the export, it pretty much does uh, HTML format. But when we did the conversion to Markdown using Pandoc, it does transform some of the elements in here, and mostly it's going to be the links and changes those links so that they're in the Markdown format. So if we do a preview here. We can see that there are some elements here that were in the HTML doc that did not come over uh, or get converted, but all of the links do kind of show up here. We can see here one of the images that are uh, linked to this particular file, a couple more in here as well. So as I mentioned in the when we were doing the conversion here, Pandoc does not really get rid of a lot of the 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 elements in the html so it's not as clean of a conversion which is one of the reasons why i myself i don't like this method one there's you know there's just more to the process of getting your notes from evernote into this particular format and then two the conversion uh, doesn't really go too well. So the, the documents and the notes, your information has a lot more stuff in it that you really don't care about. Now, if we go to the, the other option that you can do without migrating all of your content into files and folders and then putting them into your vault, uh, the table of content. So now we're looking at the table of contents note that we created. These hyperlinks here where in the list it shows the actual note name and then it has a link. The links are internal links. So what will happen here, what we, what we want to do is go ahead and copy all of these links in this file and you can copy everything in the note itself. And when we go into Obsidian, what we'll do is create a note here and we'll just paste in all of that information that we copied from Evernote. Now, all the links come in as we can see here and we can see the formatting has, you know, turned everything, the links into the markdown format here. So that's supported. And if we do a preview of this file, let's move up here. We can see it's the same thing that we had in the other note minus the, the title of the, uh, of the actual table of contents. So we'll just call this, uh, Evernote, um, map of content here. So MOC. And if we want to get to one of these, 
these notes, all we have to do is click on the link. And what happens is it will switch us over into Evernote and then bring that note up. So it's pretty convenient. All you need to do is make sure you still have Evernote the account set up you can move it to your to the basic free account and you just need to have Evernote installed on your machine and and logged in now this is one way again to, to make this process way more efficient to transition from Evernote over into Obsidian you can still do searches on your notes but you're only going to be doing the search on the note title so this is one one place where if you have your your notes titled in a in a manner that really helps you get to the note and you understand kind of what's in it or how to at least find the the information that you want then this lends well to people who kind of make their their titles more relevant to the content inside of the actual note itself. Okay, so this video was a little longer than I intended it to be, but I really wanted to kind of go step by step through the process here and really show you how, how you can get your notes um, out of Evernote and into Obsidian. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.